Gan again. Gan worked last time, so no reason to do anything differently. He's gone with Lucky Charms, Ken. And back to the same game that Shin was playing before. Very careful, very patient. Well, remember how Momochi won and lost last time. He won when he pressed. That was the only round he won. Mm -hmm. Six rounds to one. That was the one he won. Other than that, Chen just stayed away, you know, sort of managed to outrange Momochi. Uh -huh. And he's doing it again right now. Momochi still has to figure out a way to get in. And that's because, you know, Ken has that really good crouching strong poke. Oh, wow. He goes for an off-the-wall mix-up. Didn't work. That may be the end of the off-the-wall mix-ups we see for the rest of these two sets. Uh, you don't see it very often, right? <laughs> Probably just testing it out, seeing what happens, seeing how Momochi reacted to it. Oh, wow, low fierce to trade. And no Shen has the life lead. Yeah, no FADC off that hand spot, interesting. Not, didn't get behind with that yet. Momochi. And yeah. in again. Oh! oh. That's oh. the Honda, the neutral jump, and then I beat you with my low low move in the hand slap. Yeah, Momochi was trying to get pressure going, and he had a couple of bars to make FAD, you know, Dragon Punch FADC happen, but I love that moment that uh, Shin yeah. took up the spot. It's what, The reason why it works is because when you neutral jump, you're scared they're going to hit a button on the way down, so you can't get in. And when they whip, when they don't hit a button, you have to take that extra step to get in there, and that extra step is enough time for them to throw out their move first. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's cute. Oh, Truffle! I think he just didn't believe in the focus. And he gets the free ultra after that, so good damage, and he saves all that meter. There was that stagger that Shin had a lot of success with. Yeah, so I'm glad to see that Momochi blocked that, because that was a problem for him in the last set. <laughs> Gotta be careful with every one of those fireballs. You can super right through that if he's close enough. Yeah, it's not easy to get. Oh, Mo, she does not want to overcommit to anything. Same with Shen. <laughs> you know, Shen knows he has a lot of time on the clock. Momo, she knows he has a life lead. Almost like this. Almost like Gen tapped Ken. Like, are you alive? Are you still here? Are right, we still yeah. playing? <laughs> oh, empty jump, and there it is. Momochi's going to take that. Oh, backdash again. He did that in the first step. You know, eat the focus backdash immediately to try to bait him out into that hurricane. Hurricane is the armor breaker, so he wants to beat the focus. Yeah, or at least the backdash, which works against almost everybody. Right. I guess not again. Oh, yeah. Can't do any follow-up kicks anymore. Boom! Okay, nice start for Momochi. Takes a game, something he did not do the last time they played. He's got to win this three out of five set, and then he has to win three out of five set afterward. Oh, focus dash through. You know, he's seen again, hasn't been doing crouching strong hands all that much. There's been a lot of crouching strong. And so, Momochi focus dash through two crouching strong. Right. You know, he, he was cool with it. He expected there not to be hands. He was right. That's a really interesting adjustment from Shen. I'm wondering if he really did notice that, that uh, Momochi got a lot of pressure after the hands were blocked. Oh, wow, another sweep. Oh, wow. Got behind that time and then gets the carrot throw. Oh, oh, that's oh wow. Okay, I guess not. Oh, nice counter there, and he's going to get into the waterfall kick. Great block. Ooh. And Momochi gets away. Still has the life lead. You see him with that waterfall kick? Why? Just to build that super. He wants super into ultra, because that'll take the round. Nice stagger there oh. from Momochi, but Shin doesn't fight. And Shin counters with a stand jab. Perfect counter. Low short, low forward chain. Still bufferable. Land super into ultra. Hey, that time you saw Shin do the low strong in the hand. Seems like he's doing it a little bit more now because of maybe those focus dashes that you pointed out. 
One which you're working on getting the corner, but Ken is doing a good job of walking forward here. Yeah, more hands. Nice. Mochi has the best air-to-air -air reaction out of any player. And a really good button to do it with. Oh, wow, he landed already. Okay. Just a little bit missed time from Shen. Oh, wow. He goes for it again. You see him whip that jab to match the, uh, the, the, the delayed wake-up timing. Mm. Oh, he could have held it maybe for oh, a little great longer. Read. Got behind, not quite in range for that low short, though. Very unfortunate for Momochi. Oh, yep, he just built it. He Woo! saw it in time. Gets forward, 1-1. One, one. By the way, yeah, he should be able to punish. Ken should be able to punish Gen's sweep. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay, how, how negative is it? It's minus 7. It's okay. Oh, good block on the cross-up. It's always so tricky because Ken has two different jump distances depending on which mode he's in, whether he's in Mantis or Crane. Wow, look at this great poking that Ken is doing. Oh, and he gets the crumple off of the fireball. Knockdown. Goes in the kick mode just to get some extra chip damage. Again, whip punish from Shin. Goes right into there. Waterfall kicks. Does a quick rise. Catches Shin by surprise. Looking Wait. for that counter hit setup. Counter hit no ultra. Oh, wow. Fireball actually beat Gen's boat. Surprise Gen's fireball. Kind of slow startup. Oh, held it a little too long. Sort of not long enough and a little bit too long, yeah. right? <laughs> In between that. Oh, catches him with that overhead even though he was walking forward. That poke is so good. Just stabbing you in the shins. And the battle continues. Can you imagine fighting him for real? That would be super annoying, just getting stabbed in the <laughs> yeah, shins like that all be. day. Ow, ow, stop it. <laughs> Mom, he's poking me. <laughs> Nice, gets the hard knockdown. Oh, he was scared of an uppercut or something. Overheads, we saw him do a lot with that. Usually we see people save overheads for end of rounds, but Shin has actually just been using it a lot just to get little bits of damage here and there, and I actually like that. Oh, sure. Yeah, I think that's really smart. Especially since Gen's overhead kind of moves him forward a little, so... Great range. Yeah, good range and surprise attack from a range that you're normally just low blocking against low strongs and uh, low roundhouses. Oh, that whip. No hands there. Could have gotten FADC and damage instead. Momochi still gets to stay on top, uh, stay neutral game. Oh, he's trying to carry through. Yeah, he didn't go far enough. Oh, is that going to be enough? This should be enough. And Shin. Oh, oh not, not quite. quite. Okay. Needs something else. He's going to have a mean mix up. No, he totally stays away. I wonder if he's just playing for Chip now. Yeah, but he's got to be careful. Momochi, so close to building a super. Oh, oh the just, read. Yeah the read on the jump. That's only half. That interaction, fireball, jump over fireball, hit, just a couple of times. And yeah. Uh -huh. the, whole, the two sets that they've played so far today. And Shen now at tournament game. If he can win this one and avoid the second set, for one thing, he'll be super happy because he just does not want to go to a second set again. <laughs> of course. But he will have taken final round and legitimately qualify himself by taking first place. Yep. And He's in regardless, but it's nice to get there by winning. Yeah, especially by defeating Momochi and showing the world and yourself that you are very capable of taking Capcom Cup all the way at the end. Remember, he has been in second place in Capcom Cup twice. He's tired of this. Yeah. He wants to win. Oh, gets away. Okay, here's Momochi now. And then a the little counter poke in between. 
in between that stagger that moment she often uses before the, the throw. Oh, ooh, didn't have any meter. Oh, can he make this comeback? He just needs one more hit. They both do. Shin just staying away. He does not want to engage. Oh, he spent the bar. That's really nice for Shen. No chip on that. Oh, 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 so beautiful. Oh, my God. That was the most amazing Gen roll I have seen in my life. You don't see it very often, right? <laughs> so now it's match point for Razor Shen. Tournament point two. And why not? Because he has looked so good. Yeah, he's taken out Momochi. He's taken out a whole host of amazing players. And he is poised now to take this whole tournament. Light pressure there. And just seeing if the focus would work out. He's see stock now with super. He has ultra going. Great DP. Shin is going to just try to do a lot of little bits of damage until the Super and Ultra will kill. So he's probably not going to commit too heavily to trying to go crazy with FADCs and such. Yeah, so far he's been pretty cautious. And Momochi, same way. Doesn't want to throw a fireball to get hurt. Ooh. Nice. Oh, now, okay, now we're okay, getting to that okay. territory yeah. where you might want to bring out Super if you get a chance. Of course, Momochi doesn't want to let that happen. Oh, that was such a great low block on that empty jump. Yeah, Momochi knows the stakes right here. Oh, oh he got behind. Can he get in? Chip? No. Oh, wow, not EX uppercut. Oh, boy. He, can, he needs to get away. 13 left. Nice. He understood that Shen needed to get in, and so Step Kit comes in. Momochi holding off, trying to survive this one round at a time. Some zoning here from Momochi. Accidentally extended his hurt box with that jump attack. Right, like. yeah, I think so. Oh, he's that there. Oh, he's going to do it. Wow. So he just wants to get this big lead. Yeah, I almost wonder if Momochi was doing that on purpose. Because he yeah. was throwing throw many, so many fireballs from that exact same right. spot. So now he knows that Shin will never get Super into Ultra at the end of the round. I really wonder. Oh, wow. No Hurricane or that just caught it before it had a chance to start up. Yeah, see how much more, more active Momochi is all of a sudden? Yeah, not throwing those fireballs anymore. There you go. Look at this. He's got the life lead now. Back throw. Can he stay alive? Great block. Oh, oh there it is. And see, there you go. Perfect example of maybe taking that super on purpose. It's really shut down what Shen's options were at the beginning. Fascinating. If he did it on purpose, I absolutely agree with it. Are you ready? Fight! Nice. That is a huge momentum swing here. A lot of confidence builder for Momochi. Yeah, and there too. Can he extend this to another set? Nice. Oh, punish. Yep, he knows. I don't think, I think Shin just might have missed changing stances. Plenty of meter here for Shin if he takes this. He hey, most of that Momochi, stagger, yeah. Momochi just, yeah, I love that he doesn't get hit by the stagger this time when it was a big problem for him the first time they played today. Oh, this time he does get hit! Maybe Momochi was convinced that because he blocked the stagger last time that Shin was thinking to himself, all right, time to go for the throw. That time was one of the times that it paid off. Oh, yeah, caught the back dash that time. Yeah, he's still going for it, and that time it worked. Okay. Where's he going? Stays in front. And then, you know, he's seen Momochi play a little bit more patiently there. Right. Gets the grab. So here we go. Shin landing the combo. He's 
so close to building up another super. But you can see he's scared to whip a bunch of those waterfall sticks. So Mochi staying in close range for punish. Momochi just trying to outrange slowly. He really wants to convince Gen to jump or commit some otherwise. Oh, oh, that's huge. It's a super. He built the meter in the ultra. And ladies and gentlemen, the first Capcom premiere event of 2015 is in the books. Your champion, Razor Xian. Congrats to Xian. He beats a demon and he qualifies by winning. And he is in Capcom Cup. All right. A great job to Razor Shin. Amazing, amazing performance from him. Like we said, at Capcom Cup, he got, he got beat up pretty badly by Momochi. But then he came back here, really made a statement for himself, proved a lot, and showed the world that this is not Momochi's year. Yeah, I, I'm really happy for for Shen. I know how much losing to Momochi uh, and expecting to lose to Momochi uh, really kind of hurt him. Right. You know, and, and he clearly put in a lot of time. He did a great job. He found what he needed to find. He made the adaptations before they played today. Mm -hmm. And so the first set that they played was way in his favor. And then Momochi made some changes and was doing OK. But Shen ultimately ad adapted in that last set as yes. well. So mm -hmm. just excellent play all day. Today, this weekend, he made it all the way through winners. I feel like that hasn't happened that often for Shen uh, right. in, in the last couple of years. He's won tournaments, mm -hmm. but I feel like these come from losers. Well, I know, uh, yeah, I mean, at TFC, he was in grand finals from winner's side, but then Snake Eyes came too oh, right. and beat him, but yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. But uh, hey guys, don't, do not go away just yet. We have a special message from final round coming up. We'll be right back. Please stick around for that message.